What's up, it's Kate here and welcome to Marvelous Videos. In today's episode, we look at the 10 strongest villains from Fist of the North Star. Written by Bronson and illustrated by Tetsuo Hora. Fist of North Star is a Japanese manga series that was compiled in 245 issues and published from 1983 to 1988 in the weekly shonen manga anthology. It was later adapted into two anime TV series with a total of 152 episodes by Toei Animation, which aired from 1984 through 1988. Since then, there have been several anime films, OVAs, video games, and a live action film, all based on the manga. The plot is set in a post-apocalyptic world where the land is barren, the water is toxic, and technology is futile. The scarcity of water is further monopolized by the strong, and the weak are rendered helpless. In aid of the weak villagers, Kenshiro, master of a fighting art called Hokuto Shinken, aka Fist of the North Star, joins their struggle and fights for their survival against the oppressors. The manga's graphic violence and brutality can challenge any R-rated film, and it was objected to by many parents during its release. Despite a lot of edits, both during and post-production, there are ample action sequences that are a treat, and it would not have been possible without the powerful and badass villains. So fasten your seatbelts as we are going to dive into the top 10 strongest villains from Fist of the North Star. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. <laughs> Number 1. Ra'o Ra'o, popularly known as the King of Fists, is a major adversary in the classic anime and manga Fist of the North Star, serving as the plot's main and final antagonist. Ra'o is represented with a white complexion and blonde hair in the original manga colour images. He is Ryukun's oldest foster son, Togi and Sayaka's elder brother, and Kaio's younger brother. Ra'o was orphaned after his mother died and was brought to the mainland by Jikei, along with his younger brother Toki and the newborn Kenshiro, to study with Ryukun, the master of Hakuto Shinken. Ra'o has been driven by a tremendous desire to develop and become the strongest since his boyhood, owing in a large part to the death of his parents, which spurred him to get stronger to live. As he trained and matured, he became a supremely ambitious guy who sought more power and might to conquer even the skies themselves. Ryuken started to dread Ra'o's might as he developed a powerful and deadly combat style, and he picked Kenshiro as his successor to Hakuto Shinken. Ra'o then violated the 1,800-year-old Hakuto law by refusing to relinquish his power. Ryuken attempted to stop him from utilizing the Hakuto technique, but Ra'o murdered him and fled the temple to fulfill his desire. He earned the nickname Keno and gathered an army to conquer the wasteland. Jagi, Amoeba, Yuda, and Ryuga were among those who joined his course. Ra'o possesses remarkable combat prowess as a Hokoto Shinken master. As was the case with Rei, the successor of the Nanto Suchiken style, he exploits the buried vital spots to inflict a long and excruciating death on any who oppose him. Ra'o also incorporated Cassandra's stolen martial arts into his combat style, displaying moves from both Nanto Siken and Rakan Niken in the TV series. Even though Ra'o was usually confident of his power and willingness to confront any challenger who came before him, he was not entirely fearless and was easily destabilized in the face of a person with forlorn eyes, because only an individual who has known love can feel despair, which Ra'o had discarded for his grand plans. Number 2. Kaio Moving on, up next we have Kaio, the first ruler of Asura and the major adversary of the Land of Asura storyline in Fist of the North Star. He is Ra'o's, Toki's, and Sayaka's older brother. He is also known as the Demon Kaio or the creator of the new century. His face is first hidden under an iron helmet, but he subsequently removes it to display his startling likeness to Ra'o. Years back, Kaio trained with his younger brother Ra'o and did not want to fight for a cause in which he did not believe in. When a palace caught fire, the two boys discovered their mother in her arms, holding their comatose sibling Toki. She immersed herself in water and gave her life to save Hyo and 
and Kenshiro, the infants. Kaio sobbed at the burial service since the ritual was unable to bring his mother back. Kaio gave up on love after burying his mother at Lake Masho, and darkness began to flood his head. As the first step in his road to power, he killed his dog Ryu. Kaio is a shattered man who has committed his life to evil and the annihilation of all traces of love in himself and the world. He would detest and wage war on love because of the loss of his mother. Despite being older and superior, he was made to lose his fights against a younger and less experienced Hayo in order to encourage him. This, along with his mother's death, made him despise the Hakuto ski line. He's equipped in unique armor that helps him focus his demonic aura. Among his abilities are manipulation of Matoki, which is the demonic aura, martial arts mastery, superhuman power, superhuman stamina, and superhuman endurance. His goal was to eliminate both Hakuto Soki and Hakuto Shinken in order to make room for the reign of Hakuto Ryuken. Kaio is the manga's final and most powerful major villain, as well as Kenshiro's final opponent in the TV series. Number 3, Jaggi. Jaggi is the main adversary of the Jaggi storyline in Fist of the North Star. He was one of the four stepsons of Ryuken, the teacher of the Hakuto school. Jaggi, the second youngest, was the least proficient, which caused him to acquire an inferiority complex and rely on shrewdness rather than pure martial arts aptitude to win. Jaggi was despised for his nasty methods for seeking success, such as using a shotgun or spitting needles. Jaggi acquired a tremendous loathing for the youngest Hakuto sibling, Kenshiro, for his amazing skill from an early age, a hatred that would later characterize him as he got older and became Rei's archenemy. Jaggi believed that brothers should honor their elders, and that it was inexcusable for a younger brother to outperform him. Even as a child, he was the most aggressive of the brothers, attempting to murder Yuria's dog, and frightening another youngster called Jusa with a knife. <laughs> Jaggi's character flaws include dishonesty, cruelty, and pettiness, which harmed his abilities as a martial artist, causing him to lag behind his siblings. While outwardly thinking himself to be superior to Kenshiro in every manner, Jaggi suffered from an inferiority complex, which caused him to obsess on his hate of Kenshiro from boyhood till the end of his life. Because of his inferiority mindset, Jaggi relied on gimmicks like spitting needles or wielding a shotgun to win battles. After his deformity, Jaggi pondered suicide, but vowed to live only for the sake of inflicting pain on Kenshiro. Jaggi's lunacy drove him to murder numerous individuals at random for perceived sights and resemblances to Kenshiro. He even regularly murdered his own troops, believing they were mocking him. Jaggi was scared and a coward who liked assaulting people who were weaker than him. Him, and sucking up to the more strong, Ra'o. Even in death, Jaggi showed no remorse for his heinous acts and continued to maintain his authority over Kenshiro. <laughs> Number 4, Yuda. Yuda is the Nanto Kakuken style successor and one of the Nanto Rakusei Ken. He carries the fate of the Star of Enchantment and Beauty also known as the Star of Betrayal and Deception. Yuda is the primary antagonist in Fist of the North Star's Yuda's Ark. He is a wicked renegade warlord that controls his own army known as the Yudi Gang, which plunders villages and abducts beautiful women to soothe Yuda, and was on Rei's last kill list. Yuda is known among the Nanto Rakusei Ken for abandoning them in order to align himself with Ra'o, taking 27 Nanto Seiken with him. Yuda's treachery is only equaled by his extreme narcissism. He maintains a harem of concubines who are forced to admire his beauty, and who he delivers to his men after their usefulness has ended. Despite his cleverness and talent in his chosen craft, Yuda's infatuation with beauty frequently works against him. He explodes into a blind anger if his looks or skills are insulted, and he may be frozen with amazement by methods that surpass his own beauty. His feud with Rei of Nanto Suchiken began long before the nuclear war, when both Rei and Yuda trained at the same Nanto martial arts school. And Yuda, along with many other Nanto cadets, witnessed Rei's beautiful Nanto Suichi Ken technique. Yuda professed his thoughts of envy and adoration for his opponent after his defeat before fatally hurting himself by thrusting Rei's hands into his own chest. 
He finally admits that Rey was always the more powerful and attractive combatant, dying in Rey's embrace. It was the first time the pompous Yudar unwittingly accepted that someone in the shape of Rey may be more lovely in both look and competence. Yudar's ego could not accept the fact that the beauty of Rey's Suichiken style was overshadowing his Kakuken style, and instead of genuinely expressing his adoration to Rey, Yudar could only communicate his admiration in a highly twisted manner. <laughs> Number 5. Amoeba Amoeba, the self-proclaimed prodigy with an insane superiority complex, began as a learner of Nanto Siken. But believing he could learn any martial art in record speed, he switched to Hakuto Shinken. In the manga and anime Fist of the North Star, Amoeba is a key adversary and the main antagonist of the arc's miracle village. Amoeba was a juvenile martial arts talent who studied with Rei in the martial arts of Nanto Suichi Ken, but he was not picked as successor, prompting Amoeba to depart and seek renown elsewhere. Amoeba sought Toki to study Hakuto Shinken and become famous. But Toki graciously declined to share his expertise with Amoeba, owing to the vows of Hakuto Shinken requiring his quiet. He went to the Village of Miracles to establish his value, and while experimenting on his own, he nearly killed an old man with his attempts. Toki stepped in to defend the guy, smacking Amoeba away and advising him not to practice a martial technique he hadn't yet mastered. Amoeba witnessed Toki's ability to heal people via the usage of Hakuto Shinken, and was venerated as a savior. <laughs> Amoeba was enraged at this, as well as all of the acclaim heaped on Toki, and vowed vengeance on both Toki and the Village of Miracles. When Ra'o imprisoned Toki in Cassandra, Amoeba used the chance to avenge his vengeance by imitating Toki and damaging his reputation. He partnered with Jaggy, who assisted in making Amoeba resemble Toki, and he even wounded his back with a club to replicate Toki's scar. Amoeba then learned from Jaggy enough Hakuto Shinken skills to properly mimic Toki. He conducted new pressure point testing on real people and informed Ra'o of his findings. He also stated that he could learn any martial technique in a short amount of time. In Ten no Ha, he designs a style based on Hakuto Shinken, which he labels Hakuda Shinken. Kenshiro eventually utilized Zankai Sekihoken, prompting Amoeba to unintentionally walk off the edge of a high-rise building. During his research, Amoeba uncovered numerous additional critical spots, including one that can immobilize a person and others that greatly enhance a subject's muscular growth. The latter, however, backfired and caused his hands to burst. It's unclear if this was due to Amoeba's misunderstanding of the points or just an error he made in his growing rage and desire to defeat Kenshiro. <laughs> Number 6. Han Han is the third leader of the ruthless authoritarian kingdom of Asura's third leader and a villain in the Fist of the North Star. Han battles using hurricane-like Hakuta Ryoken techniques that are so quick that the human eye cannot follow them and cast no shadow. Even Sa Chi, one of the Land of Asura's best fighters and a fellow practitioner of Hakuta Ryoken, was unable to keep up with Han's motions during their first confrontation. Han was a master of Hakuta Ryuken, Kenshiro's Hakuta Shinken's sister fighting technique. Despite his strong abilities, Han is unable to execute Amryu Tenha, ranking him the least powerful Rasho. Han is a tall, strong man with piercing green eyes, slicked black hair, and a tiny moustache to match. He is regarded as an extremely attractive man, receiving a perfect 5 in looks in the series' official character stat reference. As the Land of Asura's third general, Han reigned alongside his fellow commanders Hio and Kaio. With his life in continual risk of assassination, owing to be the weakest Rasho, he claims to have lost count after murdering the 100th assassin. Han regularly bemoaned the dullness of his daily existence, because no one could present him with a meaningful challenge, and he would often spend time playing chess against himself. Despite his ferocity, Han is less ruthless than Kaio, because he occasionally spares his would-be assassins, primarily because he believes they're not worth murdering or can give him entertainment. He eventually fights Kenshiro after the latter arrives at the castle to rescue Lin, who Sachi had brought there earlier as part of his plot to have Han face Kenshiro. In his moments of death before falling into the river below, Han warns Kenshiro that he will never vanquish Hayo, 
and that only sorrow and death await him if he does not turn back. In the series, Han is portrayed as a vicious and heartless martial artist who cares for no one's life, not even his own. Han feels no regret for the men he's murdered. But above all, Han is fascinated with seeking a new challenge in his life. Despite his vicious nature, Han was described as being like a brother to the aristocratic Rasho Hayo, implying that Han had some redeeming traits. Number 7, Sava. Sava is the lone heir of the Nanto Ken style, as well as one of the Nanto Riku Siken. He carries the fate of the Star of Leadership, also recognized as the Polar Star and the Southern Cross. The Star of Leadership is the central star in the Nanto constellation, ruling over the other five stars. Because the Star of Leadership governs over the Nanto constellation, none of the other Nanto heirs can beat him. He is the main antagonist of the Souther's arc and a prominent adversary in the manga and anime Fist of the North Star. In addition to his combat technique, Souther has an odd attribute he refers to as his Emperor's Armor. This prevents the salt on his pressure points from working. In actuality, he has Dextrocardia, with Situs Invertus Totalis, which means that all of his organs, including his heart and pressure points, are mirrored from their original places. Souther was a brutal tyrant who ruled his legion with an iron grip and spared no one in his ambition to establish his holy empire. Killing opponents in cruel ways, taking and using hostages, and even enslaving children to build his mausoleum, reasoning that children will be far more unwilling to resist than adults, reveal a cold and evil mind that easily establishes him as one of the series' most malignant antagonists, leaving streets of villages ransacked and scores of people killed. Even though Sather is a skilled fighter on par with Kenshiro and Ro, is the mystery hidden within his body that makes him really terrifying. Traditional Hakuto Shinken tactics are useless against him due to his dextrocardia and inverted pressure point positions, which is how he destroyed Kenshiro and made Ra'o afraid of facing him. When his secret is revealed, he is just as subject to its consequences as any other fighter, although remaining a dangerous opponent. Tenshiji, his greatest strike and only posture, is an aerial technique that attacks through the opponent's defenses as he glides. <laughs> Number 8, Shin. Shin is the heir of Nanto Kushken, one of the Nanto Rakusei Ken martial arts traditions. He carries the destiny of the Star of Martyrdom, who is destined to live and die for love as the former primary adversary of the first arc plot. Shin was Kenshiro's old buddy who had a crush on his fiancée Yuria for as long as he could remember. Despite this, Shin originally believed that Yuria would only adore Kenshiro. During the chaos of society collapsing before the apocalypse, a young Shin attempted to maintain order saving a fellow adolescent named Hart, who subsequently became one of his disciples. Following the nuclear war and the death of Master Ryuken, Jagi provided Shin into approaching Kenshiro and claiming Yuria for himself. Shin confronted Kenshiro and incapacitated him with Nanto Gokuto Ken technique, before inking seven scars in the shape of the Big Dipper on his chest to force Yuria to declare her love for him. Shin and his troops seized the old Kant area the next year. To win her love, he took the title of King and built Yuria the city of Southern Cross. His continuing crimes, on the other hand, prompted her to commit suicide by leaping from the palace balcony. Yuria survived, thanks to Nanto Gashasi's assistance, who came to the Southern Cross to save Yuria from Rao's impending invasion. Shin committed Yuria to the Goshasi and allowed his reputation to be sullied by claiming to be her killer. Kenshiro then penetrated Shin's stronghold, and the two battled once again. Kenshiro vanquished Shin by striking his vital spots in the shape of Shin's insignia, the Bloody Cross, inspired by Shin's statements after their first combat. Shin, who insisted that Yuria had died, refused to die at Ken's hands and committed suicide Suicide by jumping from the royal balcony, like Yuria had done before him. Kenshiro buried his slain competitor after the combat out of respect for their common love of the same woman. Number 9, Jacko. Jacko is one of several antagonists in Fist of the North Star 
acting as the anime's major adversary in Season 5. He was the Imperial Capital's Viceroy, and he imprisoned the Celestial Empress Louis and coerced Falco into annihilating the Hakuto and Nanto warriors. Jacko believed they would challenge his hegemony and eclipse Gento's Imperial star, Takio Kusei. Jacko initially appears after Falco reports to him without annihilating the Hakuto army and orders the Gento Koku master to kneel. When Shoki, Kenshiro's short-term companion, enters the throne room and tries to execute the usurper, Falco stops him, placing him in a fake condition of death, stating that Hakuto and Nanto are wicked. Jacko is pure wickedness from the bottom of his heart. He's a power-hungry dictator who controls with an iron fist and hides behind the Celestial Emperor's authority to explain his horrible crimes. Jacko, who is cowardly, crafty, and selfish, utilizes many methods to protect himself from damage, including kidnapping and keeping the Celestial Emperor hostage in order to get Falco to fight for him. Jacko often abuses his staff, including his sons, Jask and Shino. Jacko has a severe dread of the dark, which he acquired when Ra'o raided his town and located him among the villagers, taking him by the collar and informing Falco that Jaco was wicked and needed to be cleansed. Since then, Jaco has been afraid of the North Star and anybody who unites with it, fearing that they would thwart his intentions. His acluophobia is so bad that he carries a generator on his back, which is connected to three lights that continually illuminate him. Despite being a non-major villain in the manga and anime, Jokoa is a boss on the NES platform and Ian's final opponent in Punch Mania 2, where he throws knives. Number 10, Falco. Falco, also known as the Golden General and the strongest heir to Gento Ken, is a revered and dreaded warlord who serves the Tente. In Fist of the North Star, Falco transforms from a supporting adversary to a supporting protagonist. Falco is a master of Gento Koken and a dedicated servant of the Celestial Emperor. He destroys competing martial arts schools in his honor and even murders the elder of Mamiya's village in order to erect a memorial to the dead Hakuto and Nanto fighters who perished during Kenshiro's voyage. He also has a prosthetic limb because his actual one was sacrificed to Ra'o during a prior confrontation. When he discovered that Jaco was exploiting him, he was told to assassinate either Lin or Louis so Louis could be the Tente. Instead of carrying out the deed, he smuggles Lin to a couple's house. Falco fights with two Nanto Sieken users, Buzz and Jill Han, masters of Nanto Sioken, during the Hakuto army's conflict. After a bloody battle, Falco emerges triumphant, despite Buzz's attempt to murder him with a mortar shell, but Falco's warriors sacrifice themselves to rescue their master. Falco's combat style gives him a wide range of ranged options, including areas of effect and projectile attacks, allowing him to strike adversaries from practically any range and attack big crowds with varying degrees of timing and effect. His gameplay strong attacks allow him to charge and power up the attack based on the string completed at the loss of some aura gauge. To avoid overspending his aura, it's recommended that he knows when to perform his most powerful strikes, including when to refresh the aura gauge and who is being engaged. Gento Kukum will annihilate foes based on the type of attack used. Fiery attacks will create a flame-like plume around their foes before incineration. Icy attacks will create a consecrating, cold, convalescing, collapsing implosion as the foe freezes to the core and basic light attacks will vaporize the foe brightly. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks.